In this video, we address double integrals again over a general region. Okay, and this uh, function f is likely a function of two variables, and therefore dA is one of two choices, dy dx, or it is of the choice dx dy. And the subject of this video is to try to make a determination about <clears throat> having one integral given and we need to try to figure out how to write it in the reverse order of integration okay so we can see here that we are integrating one we're going to integrate the same function but we're going to switch from the dy dx to the dx dy and the directions in this problem are phrased as uh, sketch the region of integration. This is a very important part to be able to do so that we know how to write the equivalent double integral with the order of integration reversed. Okay, I can tell you that the answer is not this. It is not just reversing and putting these limits in the opposite order. That is the incorrect way to go about it. Okay. Uh, this should be a tip-off that when we're doing functions, uh, double integrals and multiple integrals, we're supposed to have numbers on the outside. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to undo what we know to be incorrect. And we know that what needs to happen is that x needs to go from some function of y up to some other function f of y. And then we're allowed on the outside to have numbers for these limits. So this is the what we're going to try to do. Okay. Now I'm gonna to figure out how to reverse the order of integration correctly. I'm gonna do what the problem suggests and try to sketch the region of integration. Okay. So let's go to the next page. Add a page below, and we can see here that the integral given was double integral uh, two up to four minus two x. Uh, we're integrating one. The order given was dy dx, and we were integrating from x going from zero to x is equal to one. Sometimes the book won't write it, but I like to put my limits here, y equals y equals x equals x equals, just so I'm very clear on what we're trying to do. And our goal is to kind of reverse the order of integration. Okay, and the way we're going to do this is to realize that um, these limits of integration determine a region in the xy plane. And that region goes from y is equal to 2. Here's the line y is equal to 2. x on the left goes from zero, x on the right goes to one. So these are our x values from zero to one. And our y value needs to go from two up to four minus two x. So when x is equal to zero, I'm gonna figure out what this line looks like. When x is equal to zero, four minus two x becomes y is equal to four. So we're going to have a y value of 1, this is already 2, 3, 4 here. Okay, so here's where we are at well, x is equal to 0. That same line, y is equal to 4 minus 2x, when x is equal to 1, gives a y value of 4 minus 2, which is equal to 2. So there's our two y values, and we needed to go from 2 on the bottom up to the equation of that line on the bottom to 2 up to the equation of the line and then we needed to come across x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 1. So here is the region of integration. So when we're doing this integral it is an integral of f dA over a region and that region is this triangle here. So if we're being asked to reverse the order of integration Okay, we need to go from the left to the right in terms of x. So x is going from x is equal to 0 
to x is equal to the equation of this line, right? And then y will go from 2 up to y is equal to 4. So for every value of y between 0, 2, and 4, we would like to be able to put in a y value and figure out what x value is the equation of this line. And so that line can simply be found by solving the line which was given as y as a function of x. And now we're going to solve for x as a function of y. So x is equal to, I can tell you that negative 2x is equal to y minus 4. So x is equal to y minus 4 divided by negative 2, otherwise known as negative 1 half y plus 2. So now we can say that x goes from 2 up to the equation of this line, negative 1 half y plus 2. And we're integrating 1. And now we have the correct order dx dy. Okay, so we have two choices for this integral. We have the dx dy version and we have the dy dx version. And both of them, once you evaluate them, will both evaluate to the same number. They are just set up differently. Okay. All right, so let's look at another example. In the two more minutes, I can allot to this video. All right, let's take a look. So on number 42 here, okay, we have the answers shown below. And this, I just wanted to have the answer shown below so we can point out a couple of, of issues, uh, points here really quickly. Notice that we are integrating our function, and the function is 6y in this case, so we know that it is some sort of plane. Okay. We are integrating over some region in the xy plane. Down here is the xy plane. Okay. So there's some region down here that we're integrating over. And we're not sure what that region is, so that's why we need to step 0 is always create a sketch of this region. Okay. I think we can probably see from the shape of this graph that there's kind of this, this circle thing. So I think that we're going to have some sort of circular region and we're looking at the function being the plane that is sitting over top of that semicircle. And by doing this double integral, we're getting the volume of this region here. Okay. Now, we've been asked to reverse the order of integration. Okay, sometimes this is necessary and sometimes this is not. So in this section, we're just practicing the two different ways to set it up. Okay, this is the order of integration that you've been given. Okay, this is the answer, the equivalent, the equivalent but reversed order of integration. And when I say equivalent, I mean that these integrals will evaluate to the same number, but they are reversed order. They're set up different. Okay? And what makes them set up different is that we have different functions and different values in the limits of this integral. Okay? So let's set this problem up on the next page, sketch the region, and then we'll try to figure out why these limits of integration are what they are. Okay, so on the page below, we're looking at um, an integral, a double integral from negative square root of 4 minus x squared up to positive square root of 4 minus x squared, 6x dy dx. Since there's a y here first, I know that these are y limits, and that's consistent with the fact that we have a function of x and a function of x is our top and bottom limits. And then x is going from 0 up to x is equal to 2. And here we're seeing numbers for the x limits. Okay. Let me see. Why is, why is that not fitting on the screen like I want?
Okay, so hopefully you can see that now. So the first thing to do is to take these limits of integration and sketch the region. Okay, this region is going to be in the xy plane. This is a double integral of a function dA over a region f. And that region is given by negative square root of 4 minus x squared. And you'll notice that um, the top limit is the square root of 4 minus x squared. This is something that we should recognize pretty quickly as x squared plus y squared is equal to 4, where we have solved for y, and you need to apply a square root. But that square root comes with a plus or minus branch. So what we're actually seeing here with these weird, these square root problems is that we actually have a circle, which is our part of our region of integration, and we're going from the bottom limit, negative square root of 4 minus x squared, up to the top part, positive square root of 4 minus x squared. What we don't know is how much of the circle are we integrating over. And we can see here that because x is going from 0 to 2, I now have two lines. I have x is equal to 0, and I have x is equal to 2. And when you use these x values between 0 to 2, and you use um, the bottom part of the circle as your bottom function, and then the top part of the circle as your top function, our region of integration is just the right half of this circle. So there is your region of integration. And because we have this sketch now, it's pretty straightforward to go ahead and reverse the order of integration. We're going to, in a, reversing order does not change the function itself, but it does change the dA to dx dy now, and it will change all of our limits of integration. x goes to some function of y now up to some other function of y, and we'll have y being equal to numbers on the outside. Okay. So hopefully we can see here that we need to switch to a left-right problem for the dx dy. Since dx is coming first, I need to go from x on the left, which is equal to 0, to the function on the right, which is the circle that has been solved for x. Now we know that we're going to come into the same problem here, a plus or minus branch of the square root. But because x, this was our region of integration drawn in the first part of the problem, we know that x has to be to the right. x is a positive value of x. So that's why you choose the positive branch of the square root. So that fixes this to be 4 minus y squared. And now we can see that our y values are now here from the bottom circle up to the to this this top this range here of y values. Now you know that's going to be the case that this is going to be negative 2 to 2 because you can check your answer here when y is equal to negative 2 right here at y is equal to negative 2 you should get an x value of 0. So when you use the x value for the given y value, you do get the square root of 0, which is 0. So when y is equal to 0, you're going from x is equal to 0 on the left to x is equal to 0 again on the right. And when y is equal to positive 2, the top limit, you're also getting an x value of 4 minus 2 squared. The square root is 0, which is 0. So at the top limit, you're going from x is equal to 0 on the left to 0 on the right. So that's your limits of integration working for you and being able to test um, out. So the correct reversed order of integration is 6x dx dy. x goes from 0 up to the right side of the circle, 4 minus y squared. 
and y goes from negative 2 on the bottom to positive 2 on the top. And that is how you reverse the order of integration.